no comment. Um, hey, Trump lovers, to constantly say that he's number one. Well, he finally hit it. He hit it with the first indictment. I mean, let's be realistic. The very first president to be indicted on any cause. He's the first. Hey, Anna, welcome back. Hey. So, he is truly a historical figure. He, mm -hmm. he will truly go down in America. He may go down in world history. I mean, we're literally talking about a country that's 200 semi years old, 47 presidents at mm -hmm. this time? 46, 446. 246. Oh, we no, have, we're on we have 46. number 46. 46. Right. 200 semi years of a country, 46 presidents, and you are the only president to get indicted. And I know we could joke and he, he, you're the only one that got indicted four times. No, you're the only one that got indicted, period. Period. Like, do you know how protective? the seat of the presidency was where a lot of stuff got swept under the rug just to protect the name and you effed up so bad they couldn't even do it they just couldn't they tried they tried mm -hmm. like i said I, we said on the show the other day do you not believe if trump didn't just give the boxes away it wouldn't have been news oh he made a mistake we got the boxes back we're done but whew, uh, T.Y. is not letting me comment. Hi, everybody. Hello. YouTube is not Hello. letting me comment. Hey, Tracy. I'm not letting you comment? Shouldn't. I mean, it should. You Too bad it's so hard for folks to see how many of these th there are. It is. Yeah. On that note, man, it's really... Well, it's not disconcerting because uh, my estimation of people as a collective continues to go downwards on a horrible spiral. But you're hearing more and more where the media is giving us as individuals such a big cop out where they're saying, well, it's too many things now. People just they just can't keep track. I'm like, you can't keep track of four things. Four. Two state, well, two federal. On two. Pick two. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. it's it's so disconcerting, but it's real. Like yeah. people, like I want to say the media is spinning, and they are spinning because they got to keep our focus and, and everything. But people really are like that, where they just cannot seem to be like, well, uh, documents. Can't, what is this? Huh? So, and they'll mix all the cases together, and mm -hmm. and. They'll say that some cases don't even matter where I'm like, you're only doing that because you know there are multiples, so you're trying to compare them somehow and you can't do that. Is no. well, Did he you do know, this thing? And did he do this thing? So You got it now sad. where they're trying to use terrible mm -hmm. logic, by the way, um, that, oh, so now the president can't lie? Oh, now politicians can't lie, and it's like, dude, you can't downgrade him. Which is great. He did to he simply lied. No, but this is what's great about that line of logic. Well, well, the worst <laughs> part about it is the media is completely uninterested, disinterested, um, and exposing what's being said. But the followers are now saying. So you're telling me his First Amendment rights can't be protected. You're saying that he's 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 wrong because he was lying. I am saying that his, this is not a First Amendment's case. That's the first thing. And then two, I'm saying, yeah, lying should still be wrong. Like for you to sit in some of the highest positions in the nation, ability to influence random people's lives, you should have a higher standard of conduct, not a lesser one. So to be in Congress and to intentionally lie, yes, yes, you should lose your job. To be the president and intentionally lie, unless you're doing it in within the scope of being the president, because there are times a president needs a lot of people. Yes, 
lying is wrong. This, this, this isn't hard. <laughs> but they never ever challenge. Like uh, my favorite one, and I'll, and I'll drop it. Ron Ron DeSantis. I think that's his name. Yeah, that guy. All right. Yeah. So he was in that interview. This is probably two weeks old at this point, where he was on a, com- a conservative talk show because he only goes on conser- conservative things. And oh, he learned his lesson. They were like, Do you? to the wrong side of the aisle. Huh? I said he don't learn his lesson from going to the wrong side of the aisle and getting one person to raise his hand saying he vote for him. He likes uh, safe spaces. Hundreds. Yeah, because that was a bad PR stunt, dude. But anyway, mm. the the host asked him, "Do you think Trump can get a fair um, a fair trial in?" D.C. And DeSantis was saying, no, there's no way he's going to get a fair trial in a liberal place like the D- like D.C. It needs to be moved somewhere else. I would have loved, I probably, it was probably Chuck Todd. No, Chuck Todd isn't conservative, but he had a chance to do this too. But anyway, whoever it was, I would have loved for them to turn around and say, well, can a liberal get a fair trial in Florida? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Let's get this on the record real quick, because what you're saying is dangerous. What you're saying is conservatives should only be judged by conservatives and conservatives should be able to judge liberals. But liberals should not judge conservatives and liberals should not judge liberals. So the only people who can judge everybody is conservatives. And that harkens us back to a really bad couple hundred years of American history where you would have all white juries, no matter what the offense was, no matter who was involved, because you believe that that uh, white people in America were the only ones able to be intellectual and think through a process and everybody else is, is emotionally driven. And that's the echoes that we're hearing when these people are talking. So I, mean, I just wish they would flesh it out, man. Turn the light on. It ain't been 15 minutes, man. Y'all getting gold in 15 